Josie, hi. My name hi. is Ian Bolton. I work for uh, Sky Sports News. Nice, nice to meet you. Congratulations on your appointment. Thank um, you. Tell us how you found the first week. A lot of things to do, for sure. <laughs> and you remember the first experience with the team was not a good one, for sure. Then I did what, what, what I did last time. I mean, try to, to have a global overview of a uh, global picture of the situation, see a lot of player having a lot of interviews and, of course, uh, training session and, yeah, trying to do as most as possible with some priorities, not rushing everywhere without knowing what to do. And, um, yeah, uh, discussion with my, my staff, all, all what I have to do to, to take the best decision and, and, and to be more aware of the situation. And, that that was my first week. Is this a bigger challenge than the one you faced when you were here last time? Yeah, let's say for sure it's a different situation. Different. Um, In what way is it different? Just because I don't believe that it's two times the same. <laughs> and of course, because also the players are not the same anymore. Even I... I saw many faces that I already knows before, so that was good. It's not the same team, um, even not the same staff. Uh, and I think not really the same situation. Is it bigger? I, I would like to think that it's more difficult than I, I put more energy again than the first time, because... Uh, I cannot say that um, now it's a challenge, a normal challenge, we know what it is. No, it's not true. It's not true. I think I prefer to, to see the situation as a bigger one, tough situation with a lot of things to do, I, I repeat. So, at the start, after, it's up to me to find, again, the right solution and the right way and showing to everybody the right direction. It's difficult to say, but different for sure. Did you have any reservations about taking the job? There seemed to be a suggestion that initially you said no. Is that true? Let's say that I, I just want to repeat what I was saying when I arrived at the club. So when I left the club, for me, I don't know why. If humans was a relation with the club, with the people working for the club, even for the player, and certainly with the competition. Uh, it was immediately something, I got a good feeling. And so it's clear that another, this kind of challenge in another club, I'm not sure that I will say immediately yes. Here, I didn't have to, to think too much because this feeling was still there. Uh, even I was busy with all the clubs for sure. I have a look on championship and, and more now even about the English football just because, yeah, I was in love with the global sphere and everything. So when they spoke about Charlton, I say, yes, yes, okay, okay, okay. I'm really interested, but not my interest. I don't think about me by coming here. I take a lot of risk. It's just because, for me, the, the fans, the sphere was... So, I just think about the club and what I can do for the club. You, you talk about risk. Yeah. Every time when you take in charge a team, in this position you take a risk. It's better to start the season, no? That coming in this kind of situation, as I took the risk the first time, I mean. But... Trying to succeed in challenge is, is not something, not that I think that, that the best one or on everything, no, no, I don't have any pretension about. I just think that I'm so really committed with the club, so really concerned by the club that, yeah, for sure, I think I can do it again. You kept them up last time you were here. What is it going to take to do it again, though? 
You know, the most important is um, first to see the reality as I explained to you, to see what we miss actually, what I can bring, what's the right balance in the team and everything. A lot of things can do the difference and also all the people who love Charlton, we have to be behind the, the squad, the staff and me to do the job because alone I can do nothing. I just want to, to take everybody with me and I don't like promises. Promises it's easy to, to do. I just want to to do it by acting. That's be effective. In which way? How? When? No, just concentrate on the moment. What can we do for the next game? What can we do today to be able to compete as we want to compete next game? And then one step forward, one step forward and build on it. What do you say to the fans at the moment? They're, they're not very happy with the direction that the club is going in. They're not very happy with the current owner, certainly. No, for me, I'm, I'm the manager. And I'm just focused on, on what I can do. I mean, do, do you have a message for, for the fans? One thing, one thing, one thing. Um, if we can have the same relation that we, we had the first time, because we need them. We need this 12 men. We need this commitment. We need, we need, sure. What they have to be sure that I'm here because I'm like them. I like Charlton. I want to do something for Charlton. That's it. That's it. So be with us. After the rest, you know, it's not sportive, but about what we have to do. For sure, we need their help. You know, it's a big difference to be to be support or not. But I have a lot of confidence in them because the last time I remember that they really do their job, <laughs> if I can say. And it was even more easy for us to do our. How would you describe your relationship with the owner? Not the first time you've... No, I know. And a lot of people think that I'm part of the network, but I'm not at all. No, because I, I went in other places. Um, and even the last time in Standard, it was the actual owner who asked me. So for me, it's a professional relation as an owner with, with a coach, not more. The, f the first time is... I had two years contract in Soda. I, I, I left after one year. I mean, it's not something else that an owner and a manager. I want my freedom, let's say. <laughs> I'm a self-made man. I'm alone. I have even no agent. So, okay, he's sure the boss of the club. And I want to be the boss in my dressing room. <laughs> From what you've seen so far this week, um, is the squad good enough to stay in the championship? Or do you need to bring more players in? For me, there is two things. And I, I will repeat what I said the, the first time. When I step in the dressing room, I told to the player that we are not maybe the best player. But for sure, we are certainly not the worst one. But we have to be the best team in terms of commitment in terms of sharing the same idea, um, doing not only during the game, but during the training and showing to everybody what we want together. Because what, what's good with a collective sport, I think, okay, you have maybe sometimes different of talent, sure. But most of the time we have to look like a team, like a shape, like something strong. So saying is a team better or not, depending of how we are going to do the things all together, like a team. That's more important than individual qualities, even we need, of course. You, you understand? But first, having a global ID, and we share together. 
knowing in which direction. And then I believe in a team. And I think that it's through this way to sink a team that we can be individually performing. So, George Teixeira yeah. for this week from, from Standard Liège. Yeah. worked with him, obviously, yeah. before. What does, what does he bring? I think, you know, if we bring new players, it's a new, let's say, energy. It's, it's people not involved in this last defeat and so on. So out of, let's say, this sphere is quite difficult. And George was playing for me at Standard. He has experience, of course. We play Europe with him. Uh, he's really a competitor that I must uh, say is. And yes, yes, he can score also on set plays. He is fit because he was playing the first round. That's what we are looking for. Experimented, fit. And you know, the story of Charlton today is also because we got some player, we, you see, I already say we, <laughs> even I wasn't there. <laughs> it means a lot. Uh, we, we got some players injured like Diara, like Bauer, and, and it's quite part of the foundation of the team. They are two players with a lot of experience. So they miss a lot, of course. And with Jorge, even, okay, he has to know the championship, he has to know his partners. I know that it's a player who will give everything from day one, and he has qualities. Qualities can fit with the championship. And so I think for a player, it's nice to see arriving and new face and who can be, let's say, uh, competitive and performant immediately. Would you plan on bringing more <laughs> players in? <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Normal uh, question. No, no, it's normal question. Um, I would like, yeah. I, as I said, I think we have to give us the maximum of chances. I don't think that we have to add one body more. There's no reason. We have to add some player as I told you with Texera, completely fit, who can be competitive immediately. And I know that when I speak about Boa, Diara, they're quite the place, you know, central. And of course, if we can bring some other player, maybe in each line, who can bring something more, which are really interested also in Charlton, because, you know, it's easy to say for a player, yeah, I want to come to England, yeah. But I want to listen more than this. Because, yeah, it's not making a trip in, in, in London. It's, it's be able to be part of the fight for relegation. So we, we have to be sure, even when we speak about human, we, we are not always sure. But we have to, yeah, to try to to take less risk. And if we bring something, somebody, sorry, it's because we think it can really help us. And who will be responsible for bringing those players in? Will it be down to you? Will you have the, the say on who comes? I, I, yes, I will. I will. I will. Let's say I'm open with proposition, but after, of course, I have a look if... And I give my opinion all day. We don't need a manager. I mean, uh, and I will ask also to my staff because I just arrived and I don't think that I always know the truth. I mean, and then and, and I share the idea, but for sure, sportive have to say something because again, I want to do the thing in a way that we can improve and, and not the opposite. And your first home match, second time around this weekend. What are you hoping for? Uh, what I was already hoping for the last one, but it was quite difficult because I was just arriving and OK, I can also stay in the stadium, as I said, but I got the feeling that maybe uh, it was better if I stay with the team, with the squad. OK, now to go one step forward and to see that, OK, we start to build something really and, and we are looking in the same direction. And that's what I hope with this game. And to see that, OK, with the last two defeats, for me, it's amazing, the score. So 
no, stop with this. And you have to be, of course, consistent as a team. And, and to get the feeling, not only us, but all the club, the fans, that, okay, we already take the right direction. Uh, I don't want to speak about the score. You can imagine which score <laughs> I won and which uh, game I want to see. But I mean, feeling that, okay. And I know that, you know, the most important is, it's not because you want that you will immediately receive. Okay. Um, but I know, I know that it's depending on the way you are looking for and, and with which power you want the things. You want the thing as we hope all for Charlton. So I hope it will be a big step or maybe a small one, but even in the right direction. That's what I think about this game. Is the problem uh, when you looked at the squad, is it more motivation, getting the players um, up to speed again, or is it looking at them technically I think when, when you see the last result, it's more than only one thing. It's, it's a couple of different things and it's clear that lack of confidence, then you can think is not motivated. No, sometimes you just have no repairs anymore. Uh, you think you don't want to run, no, even it doesn't know where to run. And tactically, you know, of course, you have to put an organization in the team, but after, uh, you cannot be perfect 94 minutes in, in shape. I hope so. I hope so, because a coach, of course, will appreciate. But sometimes, OK, it's not a problem. You have your legs and your mental. So for me, it's all this. And to see also through the player, uh, who are really committed with, with what we have to do. When you look at the, the team, um, you mentioned already that some people might talk about bringing in players that know the championship. Is that something that you, you might look at as well, to say that you might need some characters who know what it takes to get the wins in the championship? Yeah, for me, there are, there are different things that can bring s something more. And of course, uh, knowing what championship requires is quite important, for sure. For sure, um, because we are just looking for people who can be performing in the short term, uh, not only by being in the eleven immediately, but being on the bench, but able to push the other one. So we have to feel this power coming from also behind. We are more than eleven player. So, and and even we are more than the player. We are the staff and all the people working on the training ground must come from everybody. So, of course, experience of championship uh, is something important. Or even somebody who, can, who comes from, from championship with some qualities fit with the championship. When the fans are potentially um, going to be protesting, or they have been already, um, how difficult is it for you to get the players to play with freedom in, in that situation because I know that they're not they've not got anything against the team necessarily they want the team to do well how, how do you allow players to play with freedom as a manager in that situation I, I think that the fans will make the difference and I'm, I'm really saying that they will support us and I I'm waiting the same from my players just doing their job supporters have to support players have to play so, for me, okay, this situation is also because the player, so they have to do their job. Can you say what the situation is regarding Tony Watt? He's returned to Charlton. Um, does he figure among your plans, or will he be going out in this window again? It's difficult to say. Difficult to say, but for me, I repeat the same. Uh, I mean, we know all Tony. And yes, of course, the ability is to be decisive. You have some thing. So for me, about football skills, I have no doubt. After, I cannot always master 
what are his intention. You understand? So I would like if if he's fully committed with, with us, of course, and he knows my opinion. It can be difficult on the opposite if you think about something else to be fully involved in what we, we have to do. Can I just clarify one point? Are you free to sign British players if you want them? No, really, I, I, I feel free. I don't say that I will be able, but free for sure. I mean, for me, it's a point I have players, you know, English or non-English, non but I know that it's also in some of the teams, okay? And believe me, I, I was quite impressed sometimes by the level and, and I like this championship. So, and I like those players because my big relation that I had with the, the player of Charlton was based on the one who was were playing for Charlton for a long time, so English players. And I think <laughs> that we, we, we had to face with some very good players. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I feel completely free. And I must say that First, I'm looking in those kind of player. Actually, after, okay, I can only master what I can master. But for sure, my choice is. I think we, you have very good players, very, very, very young player, good players. I, I met Mr. Martinez last time for young players, not this time, and I have built some. In a short time, some good relation with the manager. It's also something that really I enjoy. This capacity after a game or, and even before to discuss, to share. We were speaking uh, with Mr. McLaren about uh, his experience in Holland when when I met uh, uh, Derby uh, and about Belgium because it's close. So everything, yes, for me. Got a good feeling, so for sure, about the player too. And if you were to act within this window, what would your priority be? What does that team need now more than anything else? What position do you want to strengthen? As I told you, maybe some... It's strange, but when I arrived, I speak, we need a forward who can score, OK? But you can see it's five and, and, and after six. <laughs> and you speak about the striker forward. I think that we need we need... Three and four, as I, as I told you, we we miss some experimented players. So, it start from from behind, and we did. Or, I think once already with uh, Texira, if we can bring somebody else in the spine, because around we can build, and of course, sure, I'm agree also with the people saying if we can find striker can make difference so important in a team. You, you know, there is no team. Uh, competing for the first place without good strikers, so that's the global ID. But I'm, I'm waiting. Yes, players who can really fit immediately in, in team spirit that we are looking for. And the first thing before receiving, I'm, I'm certainly want to to believe in the player already there, because. They must also believe that all together we can change. You know, sometimes you arrive in a place and all oh, this player or not, all oh, this player is the problem. No, no. Sometimes it's it's just about what happened, and we speak about lack of confidence. And so sometimes just I believe again we are eleven against eleven. I mean, we got a striker in mind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, I know a little more now because I I'm looking a lot and then I see many players but okay what I have in mind and and <laughs> what we can sign is it's another story you know I I try to to share my time uh, in trying to find some players giving my opinion but also of course the first step is to be busy with the player that I have in my team now because that's why I'm looking to, to for making interview with all of them because I think I have to find what happens collectively and also individually.
Teresa, has the, the system of network clubs that the owner has, has that worked? Has it been a great success and a great help, or has it been quite difficult? Um, you know, being not part of the network, I cannot have really an, an opinion about. Uh, when I'm involved with other club, uh, okay, after, let's say, I'm not part of this network, I, I just find a situation, I've been in another situation in Standard and so on, so it's not, I cannot answer, the owner can answer maybe because I, I, I'm just trying to to get out of this situation now. That's for me more important than to sing about the rest. <laughs> you said that um, Roland is the, uh, is, the, is the boss of the club and you're the boss of the, the dressing room. Does that mean it's important for you to have complete control of, of who you sign, who you bring in and the way that you play the football at whichever club you, you manage? Oh, there are different points in what you, you mentioned. Yeah, eh? But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the way we will play, for sure. The way I will manage the dressing room also. After for signing players, as I told you before, of course, I, I, I have my opinion. And, and, and if people trust me as manager, they have to, to listen to my, my opinion. That's what I think. And again, um, I'm a man I'm responsible of what what I'm going to do in with, with with Scott, and I want to stay responsible about what happened. I cannot. I have to face the situation. I wasn't there, <laughs> and and now I have just to to find the solution. Let's say so. I just try to do my job properly. You know, there is n no. A lot of club where manager today can say, I master everything. Yeah? So what you can master, you have to do it with believing, with energy, with solution. That's what I want to do. Last time you kept jumping up, obviously, um, and then you weren't kept on. Are there any hard feelings about that? And also, uh, if, you, if it happens this time, would you expect to stay? But it's it's further proof that um, I'm in love with the club. I mean, <laughs> because yes, it's because the club, the, the feeling, and I must say that this is has not changed. I mean, I arrive here, I, I see the faces, uh, and yeah, I get the same feeling. Just. I think it's a different situation, but uh, for the future, you know, I want to be, let's say, um, focus on the present because that's the most important. That's what I did last time. I was not even, as I, as I told you, I'm a self-made man. I was not even seeking to put a clause in my contract saying, if we stay, I, you understand? I was just busy and preoccupied by doing my job and doing, and I, and I forgot all this. after. I repeat, if I was really um, angry or... Uh, no, it's because Charlton, with another club, certainly not, but this one, yeah. And I hope that my feeling is also the feeling of the people around the club. And with, with the uh, club having such a strong youth uh, section, um, with the position of the, the club in the table, are you worried that players such as Lookman will be targeted by Premier League clubs who are looking to, you know, like vultures to come and try and grab the best players? You know, in, in our situation, you cannot master all the components. And again, you have to give priorities. What I must say, because I've seen him, he was injured, but he, he comes to train some part of the training session. And yeah, I must say that <laughs> it's a very good player. And a uh, young player, fresh mind, wonderful. After to manage the future, I hope we will be able to do it in favor of Charlton and in favor of the player. Sometimes, you know, young players, they want, or not only the players, but people around the players, want to 
go too fast with them. But not all are able to face with this. Sometimes it's better to do this because then you go there and you stay there. The most difficult is not to arrive, it's to stay. So that's what I say. I hope for young player and of course for the club that will be able to manage the different aspect of of this. I face different challenge already, but I would like to say that, as I told you, just when I start conference, I prefer to to think that it's the the most difficult, the most difficult, and then just because I want to put the most energy I can. You're not scared though. Hmm? Not scared of the <laughs> No. <laughs> no, no. Is uh, Lukman fit for Saturday? Training, but... I, it has been part of training session, but um, we have to decide because we don't want to take any risk. So if he can be part, if he can start or not, I prefer to, to make an evaluation daily, daily evaluation and to say, OK, we take no risk, can be part of it's better because we have still 19 games and it's a very young player. And maybe it's the first time that he has injury and, and so he doesn't know himself. We have to help him to manage all this because, of course, the only idea he had is I want to play. <laughs> so we have to manage also. He talks over a new deal for him. Kind of been ongoing for a while. Uh, is there any developments kind of in the last couple of weeks that you know of? He's still kind of working on it. No, for me, he's a player of Charlton. <laughs> and he uh, still will be at the end of yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. I hope so. But step by step, <laughs> step by step. Ow.